this painful night ends appropriately for the Oregon Ducks. Final score, 19 to 8. As the Broncos defeat the Ducks for the second consecutive year. Still a lot of animosity on the field, not between teams, but between teammates. It all started with Blunt right there. He should be ejected for next week. And if I'm Chip Kelly, he may be ejected longer than that right there. LeGarrette Blunt nailing Byron Hout right on the chin. We saw Oregon players fighting amongst themselves, too. Blunt nailing Hout. That is unconscionable, reprehensible behavior. There's no excuse. No excuse for that. And Mark, think about we started this football game with a symbolic handshake to start the college football season on good sportsmanship. That is unbelievable right there. It would come as no surprise if LeGarrette Blunt is in sanction for the next game or ensuing games. And he is still, that's still almost out of control right now. And now police and other security have come in to try and calm down LeGarrette Blunt, the starting tailback for Oregon. We talk about great marketing for Oregon and how they sell their program in different ways. This is the opposite of that. This is a young man, remember, that was suspended and kicked out of the first practice of the summer by his head coach for behavioral issues. Coaches had told us in our meetings earlier that Garrett Blunt had transformed himself into a more mature player. What happens if you're Oregon, Mark? You can not only lose a game tonight, you can lose your entire season on a display like this tonight. Here's how it all transpired. Well, that appears to be a little bit of taunting. Sure. But it does not Based deserve. on his quote yeah. that he gave of what he was going to do to Boise. Looks like Coach is trying to take Hout out of the way after saying something, obviously, to Blunt. Heather Cox has Coach Peterson, who is right in the thick of things. Heather? Coach, congratulations on the win, but certainly a sour way to end it. What was your perspective on what happened after the handshake? You know, just emotions getting the best of, of players. And, uh, you know, hey, it was a hard-fought game. Really proud of our defense. Uh, you know, typical first game, a lot of sloppy football, but I thought our defense rose to the occasion and played great. Coach, before kick, you certainly had to say all the right things surrounding all the hype, but now that the game's over, now that the Broncos have won, can you measure the importance of this game? Well, it's just one of 13. It really is. And next week is, uh, you know, just as important as this week. We've been saying it all along. We got tremendous respect for Oregon. They're a great program. We're happy that we were able to get this out uh, with a W, but we, the nice thing is, is we got so many things to learn from this game, and so it'll be nice to get back to work next week. After all the hype, I mean, really, for six months, we talked about it. People asked about the Oregon game, not about the season. How did you and how did this team not succumb to all that hype? Yeah, we're proud of those guys. We got, you know, we got some youth, but we got some good maturity to go with it. Uh, it's had kind of a bowl game feel for a long time. And, uh, you know, we do what we needed to do, but we got a long way to go. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy the win. Mark? All right, Heather. Unfortunately, a night that started with a sportsmanship initiative, shaking hands at midfield prior to the game, ends with this indelible image. LeGarrette Blunt. Hearing it from the fans here at Bronco Stadium. And then Scott Frost, one of the Oregon coaches, having to restrain Blunt from going after them. This, after Blunt struck Byron Hout.
with a punch to the jaw. And there's Scott Frost, one of the Oregon coaches, holding Blount back. Here's how it all started right there. He snuck him with a right hand. An inauspicious beginning for head coach Chip Kelly, who has this to deal with now. The only thing people are going to take away from this one is what happened right after the game, a really ugly incident. Fred Rogan's got it for us. Thank you, and good morning. No better way to kick off the college football season than a matchup between a pair of top 20 teams. 14th-ranked Boise State hosted number 16, Oregon. Ugly scene at the end of the game. Like Garrett Blunt sucker-punched Byron Howell. A classless act by Blunt. Don't be surprised if he is suspended by Oregon and the NCAA, and if I could suspend him right now, I would do it. Is an unfortunate incident involving LeGarrette Blunt, the starting tailback of Oregon. In a day which ironically started with a sportsmanship initiative involving 15 players, four captains from both teams shaking hands prior to the game, LeGarrette Blunt, right there, number nine, was one of them, ironically. Why do we say ironically? Because this was the scene at the end of the game when Byron Hout came out, said something to Blunt, and then Blunt. Just nailed him with a right hand, Bob Davey. You're a head coach. What would you do with LeGarrette Blunt at this point? Well, this was his behavior after. It's obvious that the Boise State player went up, touched him, and said something. But based on how LeGarrette Blunt handled that situation, as I stand here right now, he's suspended from my football team indefinitely. Mm. Until he can prove he can handle his emotions and we can trust him as a coaching staff and a football team to handle those emotions, he is not on this football team. I understand somebody said it first. I understand he may have been provoked, but the way he reacted to that situation, he's suspended from my football team immediately. LeGarrette Blunt, a player that has had to deal with adversity, personal adversity recently, was actually kicked out of a practice, one of the first practices of the summer by his head coach, Chip Kelly. Is there anything that he can do in the immediate future to even warrant some step in the right direction to get back in the coaches good books and the teams well you have to put him in that kind of situation again to see how he reacts talk is cheap okay it's about actions right now but how about the first night for chip kelly as a new head football coach uh, his debut inauspicious to say the least his team losing 19 to 8 and now he has to deal with potential sanctions against his starting tailback Live with Robert Smith, I'm Eric Casilius, and Robert, last night in Boise, we had all the makings of a great opening night. We had the blue turf. We had the pregame handshake. We had the contentious teams. We even had the trippy uniforms with the duck feathers on the, sun, on the, on the shoulder pads. <laughs> Never surprised. And Oregon. And we also had some controversy. There's the handshake, little irony there. And they win 19-8. But at the end of the day, this game's going to be remembered for what happened afterwards in the aftermath of the win. The Broncos' Byron Hout taunting Oregon's LeGarrette Blunt, who decides to throw hands. Afterwards, after the punch, he apologized. And then, of course, Boise State had some reaction. I couldn't have envisioned anything worse than this right here, but we, I mean, I tell you what, I will, that would never happen again. I would never use, lose my head like that again. And like I said, again, I apologize. I won't get mad. Like, I, I will never resort to that, to that level of, of um, that would mean sportsman, sportsmanship this time. And I, I should have, I should have handled that situation a lot better than I did. It always takes two to tangle. And, uh, you know, I mean, we just, we, we, we need to be above saying anything. There's no reason to say anything. And, uh, you know, that was really what the message was. I mean, we, like I said, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a good football game. It wasn't totally clean how we wanted it to be. Uh, you know, kind of a lot of first game type mistakes. But the kids played so darn hard on both sides, and uh, you know, that's the stuff that we need to pay attention to. And um, I think the main thing about that is, is it's just a, it's just, it's a great learning lesson. Uh, I, you know, I mean, how some little thing can escalate to a very bad thing. And, you know, we all need to learn from that without question.